Well, hello, YouTube. Eugene here with the review on the Mushin Sentai Kier Major DX Mushin Zabune. Yes, friends, let's go ahead and take a box. Ryan says Mushin Major. Ryan says DX Mushin Zabune. Got a nice shot of Mushin Zabune. And right here, this does indicate that Mushin Zabune has other features with Kier Major and King Express. So here's the top of the box. Here's the bottom of the box. Here's the side of the box. Here's the other side of the box. And here is the back of the box. Which is pretty much everything I'm be showing you in this review of Machin Zabune. Alright friends, so Machin Zabune made its debut in episode 22 of Care Major and was originally the Aqua Kirame Stone in flashbacks in both episodes 21 and 22 of Care Major. So showing off Machin Zabu in its Kirame Stone Mode to its Kirame Machin Mode. And so Machin Zabu in its Kirame Stone Mode is the same size as Machin Fire and Machin Jokey, but all in white, which is the same white as Machin Express. So let me go ahead and take these two out for a second just to compare the three here. So like I said, the same size. So the front got the nice holographic and glitter Kirame seals in the aqua clear part which has some nice glitter bits in the plastic. So as you can see, more nice sparkly sparkly there. And we got some nice blue and red accent on the front as well. And pretty much on both sides, got some more nice red here and here. And then on the back, more uh, red. And of course, this time we got some yellow and some orange here. And of course, there is Machine Zabu's head. And so anyway, so here's the top of the Kirame Stone, and here is the bottom of the Kirame Stone. Now to the Machin Mode, and so we just pulled these two pieces of the Kirame Stone. Now this section that has the Kirame Seal, just simply open it up with the seals facing upward. So of course, you know, here's your detailing side and your non-detailing side. And so anyway, uh, the front piece, which is a head, has the clips on the back here and they're going to go into this little recess here pretty much the section that has a Kirame seal so we just go ahead and clip them in like so and so pretty much the same thing with this back piece that has this giant thruster so we just clip it on in and of course lastly uh, flip this piece up which is a fin and so pretty much, friends, the same transformation as with Shinjoki, and they fix the issue with the clips. As the clips are the strongest, and they pretty much don't come undone easy like with Shinjoki, but making, making the uh, clips here very secure here. So Machines of You has a design of a bullet train. So it is a recolor and retool of Machine Jokey, replacing the dinosaur and steam locomotive design with a modern bullet train cross with a shark. And friends, I'm going to be honest with you, I totally dig this. And the color scheme looks great as the white has like a pearl white to it with red. But I've always been a fan of these remold, recolor, retools of these mechas. So, of course, model after a shark and a train, and the head looks nice, the eye in yellow. And the head is giving me a vibe of Kiryu Origami from Samurai Sentai Shinkanger. Must be the grin, and I think Kiryu Origami has this same grin as well with the teeth here. But we're talking about a dinosaur versus a shark standard here. Uh, got some uh, red going down the side here with some nice details. And, of course, we got the non-detail side here. And then, um, of course, right here, here is his dorsal fin, which has some nice yellow here. And, of course, we got more aqua clear parts with the glitter bits in the plastic. And so here's a top view. You can see uh, uh, pretty much got the more of that aqua clear parts with the nice holographic and glittery Kirame seals uh, with the glitter bits molded in the plastic with all that sparkly sparkly gotta dig the sparkly here friends really nice and so here is the back the back got this uh, big orange thruster which you can rotate and pretty much has a peg back here it looks really cool here and then uh underneath of course got the wheels underneath here so of course as he should be he rolls yes and he rolls so so well here so Machines Up is a pretty long train, just like Machine Jokey, making roughly 20 inches long in length. And so also there's a reason why we have this peg back here. And it's pretty much for um, Machine Express 
to, pe to peg into Machine Zabu to pretty much have a even longer train here, making it roughly 26 inches long in scale here. But in a way, friends, it makes sense here because we're talking about two bullet trains. As with Machine Jokey, it was a steam locomotive with a bullet train. So, really, really nice here. I totally, totally dig this. So, let me go ahead and detach him. And so, since he is a pretty much a retool, remold, and recolor of Machine Jokey, I'm going to go ahead and throw M Machine Jokey in for a second here. Just to do a comparison, and I apologize if he's not fitting into my camera frame here much, but we'll make the best of it here. But so, like I said, uh, pretty nice. They they both look nice together, you know. Like I said again, they are a retool, remote, and recolor here. Pretty much of this guy being a retool, recolor, remote of this guy. Now I'm going to the features of Machines of Bune with Land Mage, which are weapons, and these features can be seen on the back of the box. And so I'm going to go ahead and take Machines of Bune, and I will detach the back piece here. And so underneath here, uh, this little piece will come up, which will become a handle for Land Mage to hold. As you can see, it's in a nice aqua clear part, and it's pretty much becoming a big old long lance. And so anybody will raise up. Uh, the arm here of Land Mage, and I'm going to raise up my camera here. Now, this piece right here will peg into Shovelo, like so. And so, there you go. Like I said, becoming a lance here. And if you remember me earlier mentioning this, but Machines I View is a rather long train, being roughly 20 inches long. Well, friends, I reckon this to be 16 inches long. So, this is a long, long weapon here. But I like it, and I like what it does in the show. I mean, it is long. As you can tell, it will not fit my camera frame here. But uh, anyway, now to the next feature here. We'll go ahead and detach this, and we'll close this in. And I'm going to go ahead and detach the head here. Now, we don't need this middle section here yet. But um, anyway, this little piece right here, you can see this piece. When you get it with your finger, this little piece will come out, which is a peg that comes out, which is in that aqua clear part. And same thing with uh, this back piece of Machines of View. This piece will come out, and there you go. So, to get Land Mage prepared here, and I'm going to make sure I'm prepared here. So, we'll peg the head here, and the back piece here. Now, I think this is really cool here, and I reckon this is going to be called Land Mage Zabune Magnum. But it's really cool looking. I mean, here we're talking about a gun and a screw cannon. I guess, you know, this big old thruster being the screw cannon here. But I like it. And again, this is something else I like on uh, the show. And it looks really cool, you know. And I mean, it's nice little magnums, you know, for, you know, Land Mage or Cure Majin to use. And as a matter of fact, there is a feature with Cure Majin that they did in episode 24, which is called Cure Majin Zabune Magnum. And so, anyway, well, the last feature we have here, uh, mainly with uh, uh, Land Mage here. Now, this is uh, where I recommend you get a little screwdriver because it's hard to get this little piece out. But this little piece right here comes out. And so, we'll raise the arm again. And then uh, we'll peg this piece here uh, into Shovelo. And uh, this becomes a, a, a bazooka. Yes, a bazooka. And I like this. This looks really cool here. As you can see, it's not really putting a lot of weight on Lane Mage, you know, being that, you know, uh, pretty much this piece here is leaning on to Shovelo right here, which I dig. But I like this feature here, and I cannot wait to see this uh, in the show. We haven't seen it yet, but I really, really dig this. So here's another feature we've seen in episode 24 of Kira Majin. Here is Kira Majin's Abune Magnum. And again, I got to say this, I do dig what this does in the show, um, but I guess there's a reason why they only recommended you do this with Land Mage, mainly in the toy standard here. And mainly because, and the only difference here is I added Helico and changed the face, and that's pretty much it. And the reason why I say, you know, why they recommend just Land Mage, well, pretty much with Helico, the pieces are rubbing against, you know, Machines of View, you know, mainly the back piece and the head piece. But I mean, and I and I took a risk here, friends. 
And so just to show him off and, you know, he did appear in the show, but he looks cool all the way with this, you know, I mean, he's, he is a mecha ready for action with nothing but his magnums. And now let's do the transformation of Machine Zabune and Machine Express to become King Express Zabune. And so we'll go ahead and detach the front and knee back sections. We'll take this middle section, bring it down, kind of like going back to the Kirame Stone mode, but forming the legs. And so anyway, so here are the piece of Machine Express already set here. So we'll plug this into this piece like so. And so all we got left, friends, is pretty much these two pieces here, mainly the head of Machine Zabune and the back. So they pretty much become the arms here. So we'll attach it here and here. And lastly, friends, we'll take this little uh, piece, which is a new head piece for King Express, making him King Express Zabune. So pretty much all we got to do here is attach it, uh, clip it here. And there you go. So here he is, friends, King Express Zabun. And so we've seen King Express Zabun made his speedy debut in episode 22 of Cure Major. And I said he looks cool as King Express with Machine Jokey. But to be honest with you, friends, he looks even cooler as King Express with Machine Zabun with more sparkly here. Now, the dorsal fin here, you can close that in. It's your choice if you don't like it sticking out like that. But friends, clearly on the box, it is shown on the box with it sticking out like this. But clearly it's your choice. And I do feel um, that he looks cool with the dorsal fin sticking out. He looks kind of weird with it in like that. But I mean, like I said, it's your choice, uh, even as a collector here. But anyway, but it looks better and it kicks ass on the show. Now the new head sculpt looks nice, which has been upgraded. Got some silver, red, blue, yellow, and the visor in black. And so real quick, I'm going to take the new head sculpt off for a second here. And so get a little close up. And so here's a before and after. And so anyway, friends, I feel the color motif is uniform matching it with Machine Express. And so articulation pretty much in the arms, but cannot do a full 360 because it will knock the chest piece and head of King Express Zemu off. And uh, the torso area does a full 360 all around. And I got to fix that. Okay. And um, um, the still wish the head would move, but it is a typical Sentai Mecha. So it is what it is, you know. And so, and then here is a back view of uh, King Express Zabun. So, anyway, so the color scheme on this guy feels right, friends. And I like it. I really do like it. Well, friends, my final thoughts. So I pretty much gave you all my input, all if you feel about him and everything. But I think Machine Zabu makes a fine addition to our Cure Major Mecha collection. And I honestly prefer him with Machine Express than Machine Jokey. So, yes, friends, I 100% recommend him. And I think my fellow collector friends out there would rather have him with Machine Express. But clearly, the choice is yours. And I really do dig the features that Machine Zabu has with uh, Land Match and Cure Major. So, friends, all I got to say is good luck and happy hunting. And so, friends, that's it for this review. So please check out my blog, follow my Twitter, like my Facebook, and make sure, friends, you hit that bell icon when I upload a new video. And, of course, my friends, this review on the Mushin Sentai Kira Major DX Mushin Zebu. I hope you enjoy. Well, friends, I'm Eugene. I'm signing out. Hope a good day. And, my friends, almost assuredly, see you next time. Bye, friends.